Good morning guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, guess what? I'm out ice fishing. It's first ice baby. And I figured today I'd bring you something special. Well hopefully something special. I don't see very many uh, Wisconsin first ice rainbow trout videos out there so I thought today I'm gonna go get this done. I'm solo. I'm all by myself. There's nobody else here. It's the middle of the week. It's Wednesday, actually. I took my day off of work. And here I am. I was out here the other day, like four days ago, three days ago, Saturday. There was four and a half inches of ice. Now, since then, we got a little bit of snow. So that ice is getting insulated just by a little bit. Um, I'm still going to take my precaution. I got my spikes. I got spikes on my boots. I got my spud bar. All right. I'm going to be playing it safe. I'm going to be playing it real. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. I have enough SD card to hopefully last all day long. See you out there. part about this lake is that you can catch more than just trout here you can catch crappies and bluegill oh, I missed him he's still here though Let's see if I can get back in his face Let's see if I can get back in his face come on here he comes I think I forgot how to ice fish, guys. There we go. There we go. Oh! Hey! <laughs> it flew out of the hole for me. There we go. Fish number one. I just got here. Eight and a half, nine inch crappie. Back you go. This one's screaming. Here we go. It's a nice crappie. Oh yeah, that's a decent crappie. Yep. Yeah, that's not decent, but will you get out of there? You were one committed little stinker, weren't you? There. Well, they did not decimate my wax worm, so I can still use it. I got my screen all full of water. Just awesome. Luckily for me, I've got these fancy schmancy bibs with a built-in rag. Yeah, much better. Oopsie. Oopsie. Panty optics. There we go. Okay. We're better. I know I should probably have spread out a little bit. <clears throat> with my lines. I could have put my jaw jacker somewhere else, but these trout come in so fast. They hammer so hard. And you're going to lose them if you're not right there, I swear. Normally I got my pan optics set in forward mode for when I'm here fishing this lake, but lately well, last 
last week this last weekend and now today I'm gonna be fishing it in downward mode just so I can get some action from the crappies and the bluegills because those are still fun to catch and it's something to keep you entertained in between the trout so when the trout come in they're in and then they're out and I mean a blink of an eye literally a blink of an eye if you catch them you catch them if you don't you don't it's just they're that fast I'll insert a picture right here of last week's or Saturday's rainbow trout that I caught it was literally just shy of 19 inches and rainbows don't get too terribly big what 24 25 inches really at the most I still haven't got that 20 inch mark I really want to hit the 20 inch someday someday I swear I will These hand warmers sure work in a hurry. Look at that. Well, I'm not planning on I'm not planning on moving anywhere. I plan on sticking right here. Wait for them to come to me. Another trout. Are you serious? Another trout. Would you look at that? It's about the same size. Oh, a little bit bigger. Last time you got my waxies. Oh, yeah, you weren't coming off there, were you, big guy? No, oh, you weren't coming off of there. Got my waxies. Oh well. Another trout. Ah, roughly the same size. I'm keeping it. Well, make that two bites off of that. Dang. Oh my god. Here we go, guys. This is it. Right here. Oh! Might. 
guys. Guys. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Oh, even like that. Oh my god, guys. Guys, I got a big one here. Come on. Back up. Back up. Come on. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Come on. Oh. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh. Motherfucker. He took my hook. And I got my hand wet. I tried to horse him. I screwed up. That one was huge. Oh. That was Grandpa, and Grandpa's gone. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. It was a fun day. I got to go back to work tomorrow for, well, the next two days, I guess. And then I can maybe head back up here. We're going to see how the weather plays out. It's supposed to get almost 50 degrees for a good day and a half. And that's not good. That's not good for the ice by any means. It's already only like four inches to four and a half, so... I don't know what f almost 50 degrees is going to do to this ice, but well, as you guys just saw, I messed up. I had a toad on. I bet you that was the 20 incher I was looking for. I went to horse it out of the water just by pulling the string because I just couldn't get my fingers around it. It was that big and the line snapped. And I seen the hook, it was right on the lip of that fish. So I kind of feel bad at that fish is going to be swimming around with a hook in its face for a little while but who knows maybe i can come back here on saturday and catch it again i don't know but i should have retied that many many fish ago i should have pulled out some string and retied that hook on with some stronger line because that was fairly stretched i should have known better so that was my bad but oh man i love this lake this lake is so much fun <sighs> I can't wait to camp out here. I want to camp overnight out here. Just one night. Come come for the whole entire day, stay the night, and then leave sometime later the next day. Oh, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's not a long video, but trust me, I just recorded almost six hours worth of footage just for this little video. So I hope you appreciate that. I appreciate you all for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.